All right, let's take the action to the sewer with Sewer Escape. And it's brought to you by Game Sheep. And quite the colorful title screen. I like it a lot. Not sure what this thing over here is. It looks like it's on fire, but... Um, anyways, you can... The goal is to help the little hamster escape the sewer and take him as high as you can in the sky. That isn't much of an objective, but... Uh, and you just simply click on him to go higher. You can find a top 50 if you go on their thing. Not much backstory. There's a guy here in the thing it says click anywhere to lunge and all you do basically is you, you click on him you keep clicking on him and he goes up up the sewer uh, what's unfortunate for this game is the graphics are really great as you can see for this kind of game and there's a lot of time that went into it but it just fails completely on the gameplay. I mean, it's like, you know, the old adage that, you know, graphics don't mean anything. It's a perfect example for this game. Because you, oh, it's tough to, the, the area you got to hit the little hamster is so small. You have to be right on it. Well, one tip is you can just keep pounding the mouse button and, you know, hopefully you'll hit him. Like right there, I was just pounding on it and didn't get him. And, you know, I mean, the, the story's not very there. I mean, they could add a little more and make it, you know, have a little, create a little intro, get people a little excited to play it instead of just, you know, people don't have no creativity now, so they're not going to sit up here and think of, like, why is this guy trying to escape or what's the deal? Or, you know, maybe there's a mutant plague, you know, and it's finally subsided and they're going back to the surface to reclaim the earth. But we don't know, we're just a hamster trying to get out. And you can click these little power-ups if you can get high enough up there. And uh, the guy seems so enthusiastic to do this. But I'm not that enthusiastic to keep trying to hit this little microscopic area on his body to get him up there. Ah, oh, see, that's it's just so frustrating. So I have to wonder who the people who designed it were obviously good at graphics and bad at programming. And it's usually one or the other. You can pick a slow motion thing here. And I mean really the gameplay should be the most paramount thing you work on and then you fill it in with cool graphics like these. The sewer does appear to bit need a lots of repair quite worried about the, the plumbing in this person's house or wherever we're at. I'm getting quite high this time. Uh, 135,000 is my top score so far. And that's all I gotta say about this one. I mean, it's like, it's kind of a shame because it looks so great, you know, and for a Flash game, you know. And, uh, I don't know, kind of disappointment. Not very much replayability on this one. And, uh, you know, graphics, I'd give it a B. Sound, uh, I'll give it a C. And gameplay, you know, that just gets an F because it just doesn't, it's broken, you know. And so, final grade, I guess I'll give it a. I gotta give it a D because the game is just kind of disappointing to play. So that's a quick look at Sewer Escape. I don't think I'll ever escape the sewer, but maybe these guys will and design a little bit better game next time.